When you hear the name Dracula, you likely picture a cape-wearing, blood-sucking vampire from countless horror movies. But did you know the fictional Count Dracula was inspired by a real historical figure? Meet Vlad III, also known as Vlad the Impaler. Today we dive into his story. Welcome to Histrivia, your daily dose of history's most fascinating trivia and facts. Our tale begins in the 15th century in Wallachia, a region now part of modern-day Romania. Born in 1431, Vlad III was one of the three sons of Vlad II Dracul. The surname Dracul derived from the Order of the Dragon, a group dedicated to halting the Ottoman advance into Europe. Vlad's reign was marked by constant warfare, especially against the Ottomans. Despite being vastly outnumbered, Vlad utilized guerrilla warfare tactics, including a scorched earth policy and night attacks. However, Vlad's most infamous tactic was his penchant for impalement. Enemies, traitors, and even his citizens faced this brutal punishment, earning him the chilling moniker Vlad the Impaler. There's even a gruesome legend suggesting Vlad would dine among his impaled victims, dipping bread in their blood. His most notable act of defiance against the Ottomans was the night attack of 1462, where he tried to assassinate the Ottoman Sultan Mehmed II. While Vlad's methods were undoubtedly brutal, it's worth noting that many rulers of his time also employed harsh techniques. So why has his legacy been singled out? Much of what we associate with Dracula stems from Bram Stoker's 1897 novel. While Stoker's vampire wasn't directly modeled after Vlad, the overlap in names and certain shared characteristics have forever intertwined their legacies. Over the years, the bloodthirsty Count Dracula from literature and movies overshadowed the real-life Vlad, a ruler fighting to defend his homeland. Today, tourism thrives in Romania, with many eager to explore Dracula's castle, though it's debated how connected Vlad was to this castle. The tale of Vlad the Impaler reminds us how history, legend, and fiction can meld, creating a legacy that transcends time. So the next time you think of Dracula, remember the real, complex leader behind the legend. Thank you for joining us on this historical journey. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more Histrivia.